Hi, this is Technology Laura, and today I'm going to talk to you about Jeopardy Labs. So the first thing you want to do is in your browser, go to jeopardylabs.com. And then your next step is you're going to hit build. Once you've gotten there, you're going to create a password and click start building. So this is the most awesome part about Jeopardy Labs is that they already have the template for you. So you don't have to spend all that time formatting. You've already got your categories and your rows and columns. So the first thing I would suggest you to do is to bookmark this site so you don't lose all your work and then enter your title. So if you want to use this for a review or end of course assessment review, pre-knowledge, a novel study, anything that would be pertinent to your content, and then you're going to enter the category names. So if chapter one is greeting, since I teach Spanish, the question prompt could be hola, and then you would type the answer in English. Additionally, you can also do it the other way around. If you want the question to be in the other language, then the correct answer would be in Spanish and so on. So as your questions get harder, you would want to make them for 500 increment versus the 100. And then you pick another category name. So if you were teaching colors, you would just type in your question prompt and then your correct answer and continue. So it's fairly easy to use. You just basically click on 200, type your question prompt, and then your correct answer. When you are done, you want to hit save and finish. And then depending on your class, you could assign this and share to your Google Classroom or whatever LMS system that you're using. I like to play these live in the classroom. So I pass out whiteboards and Expo markers, and then I project this on the Promethean board. Depending on the class size, you can decide how many teams you want or no teams. So if I want 10 teams, I click start and I have everyone participating in the classroom, but I might call on one single team first or individual to actually answer me, but everyone is participating. So no opt out. So as you start, you just click 100 and then your students either writing or typing, you know, the correct answer. So if they get this correct, you hit the space bar and then you can give them you know, 100 points. If they say they got it incorrect, you can either not give them points or if you want to give them negative points, it's up to you. The kids really get excited about this and seem pretty competitive. And then if you do colors, again, reveal the space bar. Make sure you always click this because that will take away the question. And then as always, you click on escape and you go back to the big Jeopardy Lab. 200 points um, they get really excited and this is a really easy check for understanding because all the kids are participating and then they get the feedback if they got the answer correct or incorrect another way that i see that you could implement this is have your students actually create the jeopardy labs for review and then they could play with their peers you could assign this for homework and then they could actually lead the classroom which would be awesome for student-centered learning so I hope you enjoyed this video about integrating Jeopardy Labs. Be sure to like and subscribe my channel for more EdTech tips. Thank you.